Hello again, everybody. Welcome to OCVarsity.com. It's time to talk about what's going on in water polo with the uh, prince of the pool, the king of the chlorine, the great Dan Albano. Dan, the first thing I want to ask you about is um, there's a very interesting video. Uh, I know you shot a, have a shot of it, and also a, a reader uh, sent us a shot, shot of it of something that happened in the pool that, uh, you know, to me it was a little bit, uh, I don't know if disturbing is a strong word, but it didn't look good. No, it didn't. You know, uh, and I was on an interview, uh, another interview uh, about this incident, you know, this incident came up. It was, we're talking about the injury to Zach Kamai, Irvine player, who uh, suffered a throat injury um, last week against Corona Del Mar. So it was a pretty scary Irvine, moment. Irvine, Corona Del Mar? Yeah, Irvine, Corona Del Mar. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was pretty scary for Zach. He ended up, you know, floating on his back. And uh, he's a very good player, you know, Olympic uh, ODP player. Um, he's, you know, it's, you know, one of uh, the best players in Orange County. He's one of the, he's a very good player, and he was floating on his back, couldn't breathe, and um, ended up uh, being okay and coming back in the match. But it was a little pretty scary there for, for a few moments. Yeah. And uh, it is pretty graphic video. It really is. Yeah. I, I heard uh, when I was doing this interview, they, they said on the, another message board had, had kind of given a warning that this, this video was graphic. You know, and it is. You know, you, you watch, a, a watch, when you're watching a kid, you know, a high school kid, and he's floating on his back, and uh, having a hard time breathing. This kid's a former lifeguard, a, you know, a standing uh, ODP players. These water polo players are incredible athletes. And to yeah, see sure. this kid, you know, to the point that he was at, that's scary stuff. And um, it's been a hot topic on the blog. And, you know, the, you know, at the end of the day, Zach is feeling better. He's playing his game. And, uh, you know, Irvine's trying to get back on track. So the young man's okay now? Young man's okay. Yeah, and that's good. He was able to come back in the game. He played over the weekend at the SNR Sport Cup, which was won by Losau in a great final against Newport. But uh, he wasn't himself. And yeah. he, was, he was still shooken up when I talked to him over the weekend. But, uh, he, you know, uh, he's still trying to, to, to get back to, you know, playing. You know, having to, you know, he's kind of protecting his throat, not going all out. And, uh, but Zach's feeling better now. Dan, you've covered an awful lot of water polo for, gee, how many, a dozen or more 19th years? 19th year something? right now. 19th year. And, uh, you know, water polo is a real tough game. It's a rough game. There's all kinds of stuff that goes on yeah. under the water that we don't necessarily see, you know. It, and the play can get, you know, borderline dirty. I know, I know it can. I saw the video of this, and that, that young man is, is underwater for an awful long time. Yeah. I mean, it's not like he's, you know, you know, he's diving for quarters or something underwater. There's a reason he's underwater. It's not, uh, it doesn't look like it was voluntary at all. Have you, is this, from what you see, is this abnormal, this sort of uh, physical activity? Yeah, that, that, that's, this place stands out. And you look at really? the, is, yeah, this is something that you don't see uh, all the time, for sure. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's, it is physical play. You'll see some guys underwater, but not like that. Not for that long. And, uh, you know, um, you know the the second the second video we got uh, from uh, from Irvine High School from a, somebody with Irvine High School yeah. said a different video angle and um, you know that angle you know it shows you know some you know there's some certainly some questionable things going on there as far as yeah that was some, rather definitive that one I thought as far as you know some thrusts uh, seem to be uh, appear like uh, could be made to the throat area after the kid's already been under the water so. Um, it's some interesting video, uh, right. very intriguing video, and uh, Corona Del Mar looked at the video and they they didn't uh, you know they didn't take any action. Um, yeah, and, on it, the, and, it's, on the and it's interesting to note too, as you know, as we we look at this and what may ha right. happen, but no infraction was called. No whistle, no whistle. CIF didn't get any report. And, and water polo is tough to see. A lot of stuff happens under the water. Sure. Even that secondary video. I mean, you're looking at things that uh, you know are just below the surface. How, you know, you know, can you really tell? Right. It, it can be hard to tell. And I think, sure. uh, you know, I think that, that element call, exists. Huh? Tough call. Let's lighten it up a little bit. There's got to be some positive things well, happening in the, in the great sport of polo. What's coming up this week? Well, Who are the big matches? Yeah. And I wish I had some better positive news on this. But, you know, there's some big games this week with, involving El Toro ranked second in the county to modern yeah. day. On Friday, they play at Corona Del Mar, which is a big uh, county game, two top, team te top ten teams. And then on Saturday, they play host to uh, Newport Harbor, who was runner-up at the SNR Sport Cup. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, El Toro is going to be without one of their best players, Russell Renteria, who picked up his second game ejection on Tuesday at Dana Hills. So he's done. So the he's got to sit out yeah. two games now. He's had This is his second um, game ejection, and he's got to sit out two games, and uh, that's a big blow um, for, uh, for El Toro and Russell Renteria. And they have to be really careful now is because if you have three ejections from a game, game ejections you're done for the season oh so uh watch yourself there, there's russell. you know it's it's uh russell's got to be careful for and sure. el toro's got to be careful all right well dan uh, those are a couple great matches coming up 
and uh, you know, uh, certainly you can come back to ocvarsity.com and take a look at the video and as they uh, say, uh, judge for yourself here at ocvarsity.com where we've got you covered.